Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. The market's still in an obvious downtrend, and that's pretty much evident based upon what we know about the candlestick signals, that the Dow, even though it had a positive day on Wednesday, note the nature of this signal. This is not a candlestick reversal signal. It's not a bullish engulfing, not a bullish harami. It's just an up day and a downtrend. The logic is, if this was a reversal signal with an opening positive from the previous day's close and closing above the previous day's open, the Japanese rice traders have had hundreds of years of observing what this tells us, and they tell us, or they don't tell us at all, that that's a signal. That needs to be looked at with much more uh, uh, well, doubt that there's a full-scale reversal. Today's trading, obviously, told us, yep, they're still selling. It was even more so in the uh, the NASDAQ, where it did get pretty close to a bullish engulfing signal. But that last criteria that's very important for a trend reversal is you need to see a bullish engulfing or a bullish signal and a close above the T-line. The gap down and trading back below the open of this candle is a very strong piece of evidence the bulls are in control. Whenever you see that, the downtrend or the sellers are definitely in control. Plus, if you've got some of the bellwethers, the biggies, like Apple, that's now got a bearish kicker or trend kicker signal. Notice how it opened here, closed here. Today, they opened below where it opened yesterday and traded in the opposite direction. Not only traded in the opposite direction, but below what was kind of perceived as a trend channel, that tells you the bears are still in control. And if they're in control, the big, big stocks, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, that means the bearish sentiment is still prevalent. So charts that were sell selling off, doing kind of bearish J-hook patterns, continue to sell off. This is where, again, you're basically putting the probabilities of being in the right direction based upon a wave one, wave two, wave three bearish J-hook pattern. Um, as long as you learn the 12 major signals, know what the nature of each signal is and what they should do based upon being at a support level, notice that doji, they sold it off more. That told us that this support level was not going to uh, conform or uh, uh, support because you got a bearish doji sandwich, which told, implied there was still more downside. Again, I always reiterate, this is not rocket science. This is just taking the information that the Japanese rice traders have illustrated as to what happens in human nature time after time based upon the signals and the patterns. It allows us to have positions on that tell us that we have a high probability of moving in a specific direction. Carvana, notice that it tried to trade positive yesterday, but again, was not a reversal signal. Now, the fact that they did a bearish kicker signal tells us now we're in a wave one, wave two, wave three to the downside. Knowing this, you've got a lot more opportunities to put on option strategies or shorting the stock or continuing to stay short. Just allows you to see what the force is of a price move and, and have much better uh, probabilities of being in a correct trade. So right now, even though the downtrend is in progress, there are indications that some Stocks are being bought. Look at the bullish flutter kicker signal in Daku. That's usually a very strong signal. Now, not only is it a good strong signal, but it actually closed above the T-line. That shows there's a lot more bullish sentiment. So today, when the market was gapping down, they opened lower and started trading positive. Also a good indication that this signal was confirming that the bulls are in control so even with the market going in an opposite direction, you can still find the, uh, the confirmation of bullish uh, sentiment 
based upon where a uh, strong candlestick signal closes. When they close above the T-line, the probabilities have started to change. So right now, that close below the previous day's open tells us the bears are still in control. So as a trader, you stay short until you see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line. All these little tidbits of what happens in human nature is very easily recognized. You don't have to be a sophisticated technical analyst to understand what the signals are telling you. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.